All right, measure it up right here and scene. Hey there guys, welcome back to more Final Fantasy. In the last one, I had to go travel to a whole bunch of locations to take out these blue-eyed creatures that I'm pretty sure is being sent by the Ultima guy or whatever the final antagonist is. And right now, I think Joshua just joined my team. So it's gonna be really cool to fight alongside him. And right now, I have to go travel to um, a very specific location. Cloak and dagger. It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gavin, the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Candle was attacked, she will already have the gun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. Oh, I got a parry out of that. Titan. Oh my god, it lunged at me. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Cool, huh? It's like a Kamehameha. That was weird. I'm doing a lot more parries than usual, like the normal parry. Did I equip like a, a ring or something to make it easier? There's no way. No, okay, that was just pure luck, I guess. Interesting. I've never got that many in a row before. Just out of luck. Maybe just the way I, um, I'm able to just swing my sword at the same time they swing their arm. Hey Joshua, you want to ride Chocobos again? There we go, I got Ambrosia. Remember her? Where are you? Remember her? Yeah, we can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the echoes have a will of their own. Uh oh, enemies. That's okay, we don't have to fight them. We can just run past them. Oh, you're a big guy. Tell us about Lote, Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. 
Hey, I take offense to that. Don't be mean. Looks like we got some more side quests up ahead. Only one? As you can see from the right side of the screen, I've already accepted a bunch that I couldn't do because it didn't let me travel anywhere else. You deserve a rest. You're injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? Ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. Turned. Every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. We can't let those monsters reach the... I'll go. You catch your breath. Thank you. Oh... Encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. <laughs> they must not reach Tabor. Forgive me, Lord Kuka. Rest well, soldier. Quiz accepted. Bad blood. Cause now we got bad blood. I don't know the rest of the words. You said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Where is it? Over there? That one? No, oh, it's right next to me. Hold on. I'm looking at another mission. It's over where that blue stuff is. Yeah, I could do that real quick before I head on the main one. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Oh, Jesus. Good. I got here in time. Okay, it does decent damage. If they're smaller enemies, they probably do like an almost yeah, almost an insta kill. Enemy slain. Someone there! Please, I, I can't move my leg. That doesn't sound like an Akashic. Where are you? You know what? Let's go. Um, I was gonna try to equip the quest so I can see where I'm going, but I I'm already here. That's fine. Oh, you're screwed up. You're with the battalion. I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> 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 
He was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. Quest complete. Thank you. What'd you give me? Imagine me black blood. Just jars of it. Magic ash. Meteorite. Just the basic stuff. I've already got a lot of those. Don't need any more. Whenever I look at this little picture right there, it kind of looks like the gunpowder from Minecraft. That's what it always looks like to me, and that, I always think about that. You seem familiar. Have we met? You must have me confused with someone else. Son of a whore. You're Sid. I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! I mean, if you really want to, I could... You know what? I gotta be a good big brother to Joshua. When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... <laughs> some... Man. Like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not gonna kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. And I'm still gonna kill you. Doesn't matter, man. Just letting you go now. And if you don't ever look for me, then you'll stay alive for the rest of whatever, how long you're gonna live until your next accident or whatever. Grow old. I don't care. I do wonder if you hit the option to fight him, if you're actually gonna fight him. Or maybe there'll be like another dialogue where they'll maybe there'll be like excuses to not fight him. I want my chocobo. Ready go? Fly Ambrosia. You know what would be a really funny thing to add in this game? A chocobo race with other people. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Like, just imagine raising chocobos. How fun that would be. And you'll get, like, a really cool reward that'll be, like, a better... How would you call it? Like, a better saddle or just better stuff for your chocobo to be able to run faster. Now, Joshua. There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. Is that a merchant I see? Are you buying or selling? Perhaps. Dang, got nothing good. Of course. Go safely. Just like back home. Nothing good, but you got the best prices. My Lord Marquis, it is an honor. I am Yote, 
Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist's flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened hulls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. <laughs> Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Not quite. How dare you! Distinguished members of the council, you must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashi. is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons! Enough.
pathetic creatures. That you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Nought's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center. The one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive, which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Let's find our friends. It's 
plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her, which is why I had to let her go. Going to the side quest by Karel Tanner. Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Karava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity, but those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though I would have it tanned for Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast? Now, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin, and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. So just hunting? I can do that. All right. I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the east gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Karava. I eagerly await your safe and, above all, triumphant return. Quest accepted. Skin trade. Yeah, no problem, man. I can do it. Where is it? Right over there. But I see there's another quest here, carved in stone. Oh, it's up there. Cyril. How fares the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, knight of the undying and bearer of the burning quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace, Joshua Rosfield, keeper of the flame of the Phoenix, and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is, and has ever been, our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Your grace. It's a canva then. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> Damn, I'm collecting all these seals like they're infinity stones. You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Yeah, and? That's it? Okay, um... Just checking out where I get to the... The next mission. Okay, so it's all over there. Should I do it? It's pretty far away. Yeah, you know what? Maybe later. Ooh, unless. 
Not so far anymore. But I'll do it later. Chuckaboo. Ready, go. Faster. What is that? A what? A fodder. Then let us be rid of them. Soil and stone. I like company. Ah, jeez, that sucks if it did. That's no bueno. The free men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. So they're fighting for themselves? That's good to know. They're keeping them at bay. At bay. Oh, the cross swords. We're back with that. Who am I going to fight this time? Am I going to fight the dude with the black hair? Forgot his name already. Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you, or even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol, but everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey! <laughs> my boy. 
Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> So these Akashic are being controlled? That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Even fall. Let's go, Torgo. Right, Just do me. Let's find those survivors. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Best buddy in gaming. The best dog in gaming. They don't stand a chance against those things. Fuck. Oh my god, they just pummeled him? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, what the what kind of moves are those? Oh, you're that guy, the one with the two daggers. Come on, get a stagger. Nice to 
Man, those guys are the toughest. Here we go, got more people. Or more things, I don't know what to call them. I think they're orcs. left just one two what happened to the royal army there's nothing but monsters here yeah they killed the knights and stuff they're pretty tough I'm not a normal human so I can just handle my own besides I got Torgal too my right hand buddy my best friend Oh god, there's a lot of walking here. All these stairs. What's that? Oh, oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tor will take care of that. What is that thing? Oh, Jesus. I pressed the wrong button for the parry. Stagger. There it is. Oh, it slows the stagger down. That's really cool. I think every ultimate does that. Or by ultimate, I mean like the strongest attack. Fifty two K damage. Oh, I leveled up. Level thirty nine. 
Man, I do wonder what's the highest. I said 15. That was my last guess, but it might be even higher than that. Considering that you get almost to 50 pretty soon. Well, I don't know about pretty soon, but you know what I mean. Like, you can get there pretty quickly during the main campaign. I want to say maybe like around the 70s or 80s, but that'd be kind of weird number to put a max. So instead of 50, it'd be like, I don't know, like 100, 99. 99 is an odd number. Why do we do that? Let's do 100. There we go. Group all the enemies together. Get him. Sicker boy. You can do it! I believe in you! That sounded big. Joshua and Jill must be busy. Very busy. This is very strong against normal enemies. Holy crap. New enemies approach. Whoa, you're huge. Not sure why I stepped in a circle, that was a bad idea. Perry! That's decent damage, right? I think so. Oh, that should be enough. This should be the last move. Almost there. This is the Agora, where the city's leaders gather. There may still be survivors inside. Can I break this? No? Okay. This is not the Legend of Zelda. Calm down. The favor of lights, flare breath. Ooh. Now, if there is one for the the laser thing, the giga thing, 
Uh, Mega or Giga? If there was one for the Giga, then I'd probably get one of those. Where are they? These creatures. Does Ultima's reach extend this far? What the hell is going on here? I like how it pulls in enemies. Man, these moves are so good together when you put them in combos. What does he want? Ah! Enough. Got some infinite range there, Jesus. Magic. You've caused quite the commotion, but then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men. Like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am Satan here of House Harbor. And you will yield. Your name's Slepnir? As long as you don't hold back. Titan! Oh, you got it. Jeez, you got me there. Come on, come on, stagger. Stagger. Chip, fuck. 
yours, Torgo. Too slow. Now my coming home here. Putting out all the work. Can I have that Gugnir? That looks pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> nice try. Fighter! Oh, he transformed. What? How did he do that? Was that a script thing? Is that scripted? Still by beating hard. Nice try. Oh, you're Dude, do all the attacks you need. Keep attacking. Careful, Torgo. Don't stop with the red. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Only chance. Missed it. There you go again. I'm obliterating this dude. Oh my god, me. There 
is a good boy. Yeah, that's better. Almost there. Finishing off with a laser. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, I didn't get you at all? Not good enough. Still defeated him. Slept near slain. What did I get? I defeated him. I got a... What is that? Sanguine Insignia. Okay. The vessel is strong. My leash. Clive! You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. <laughs> Leaving so soon, Mythos? It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walloon. Get back. Did my lord commander yet i see why my master covets you so the power within you mythos the potential stop calling me mythos but mythos is everything the cornerstone of all creation the lord's vessel your purpose Purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing? No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. 
You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Will he be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <laughs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. You're awake, my boy. Oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them, along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't sail without him. 
Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Alright guys, that'll be it for this video. I hope you're watching. Leave a like if you did, subscribe more content like this, I'll continue more Final Fantasy next one. See you then. Bye!